In this video I will show you how to build a case for your Mini Nova synthesizer. You can use the same method and circuit also for any other synthesizer. Just follow the block diagram I will show you later. The amplifier is quite powerful, it's about 7 watt RMS at 12 volts, so with 3 cell lithium battery. You can transport it easily with this handlebar, so you can enjoy your instruments wherever you want without connecting the power supply and the amplifier. In order to build it, I made a cardboard prototype with everything on it, speakers, amplifier, battery, so I can test the, my preferred shape. So you can do this on any other synthesizer and then you make a laser cut on the wood. Let's have a look inside. Place for the microphone, the charger and the battery. This is a 3 cell lithium battery. And then you have a class D amplifier, a back converter and a battery charger. This back converter is providing a constant voltage 9 volt for your keyboard. A voltmeter to tell the battery level, the switch and the USB-C for charging. This is the wiring diagram, part list in the description below. Let's get started. Suppose that you have already glued together all the parts to build the basement of your synthesizer box. Let's screw in place the Class D amplifier, then the back converter, and now fix the switch on the back panel. Screw also the battery charger in the base of the synth box. And now the speakers. I tested three speakers from Maima the 2, the 2.25 and the 1.75 inches. The only one which sound decent is this one, the 2.25 inches. The other one are really not efficient. You can prepare the speaker grill guard with some chicken coop net, just by cutting at the right dimension and bending it. A little finish with the Dremel and they are ready to go. In order to put the glue for the top panel, I mark it with a pen all the wood and then I place it, the phone absorber and finally I place it, the glue all around. Keep the top panel in place with some weight on the top. 3D print the voltmeter holder. I will put the 3D file on Tingiverse, link below in the description. Fit the voltmeter on the holder and then Drill some hole in order to pass the wire of the voltmeter till the battery. The switched battery terminals. Please check on the wiring diagram I placed before in the video. Mount a protected battery and we are ready to go and I use the rope as a handlebar. The rope has to be fixed here in order to keep the, the keyboard avoid falling on this direction. And here you have to block it in order to let this always push on this part of plastic. So you will not damage the keyboard and it will stay in place when you keep the rope on this position. I forgot to mention, I removed those two parts on the side of the synthesizer in order to save some weight. And maybe I would place also a small bass reflex here in order to enhance the bass frequencies. That's it. Thanks for watching.